Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today I'm gonna be reviewing another anime film because as I mentioned before, I feel like I don't review enough anime really. So, okay, let me see here. I'm gonna look at my to-do list here. Let's see here. Ah, okay. That's the one I'm gonna be reviewing today. So I'm gonna be viewing from up Poppy Hale song. So I figured we might as well review another of these folks. I do enjoy watching anime these folks. Yep, another Ghibli film I'm reviewing folks. And yes, it's the original version I'm talking about because as mentioned before, I'm a purist like that. If something's intended to be a certain way, leave it alone. So anyway, of course, as always, I do have the top of the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? So what happens here is that the movie does tell the story of this high school girl whom is living on this boring home. And when she does meet up with this other individual, this young boy, who happens to be a member of the school's newspaper club, they do decide to basically clean up the school's clubhouse, but the thing is that, however, there is this chairman of the local high school and business man. He attends to basically demolish the building for his own thing, I guess you can say, but the thing is that the schoolgirl and this young boy, they have to basically try to find a way to have him reconsider his decision. So what's going on here is that you see this 16 year old girl, school girl, and at first she just comes out, she's trying to live her life, but of course she just turns out with some conflict of course, and her mother is this medical individual, this medical professor who is studying abroad in the United States. So we have to see that the school girl does run the house looks after her younger siblings so yeah there's that going on and of course i don't want to give away too much of the story really but all i can really say is this one is like pretty good i really liked it so i will highly recommend this film for anyone who have not seen it as of yet as you can see the art style is very similar to all the other films it's a distinctive style of animation that they do so I can't really complain really. I do like the character designs. Of course, each character is going to have their own personality throughout the entire movie, which is charming in its own little way. So, oh, of course, we're going to try their best to have their own personality, of course. And that's the thing. When it comes to writing a story, you have to make the characters seem relatable somehow. I mean, of course, you can always argue what works for one story may not work for the other. But. But for what it's worth, the story here is really well told, and is well executed. The lines of dialogue are really nice. This shows me that the script writers were really trying to put some effort in this project. And it shows, it's not just great animation, it's not just great character designs, it's not just great scenery. The story itself also does help to deliver what they're doing. And it worked in a lot of ways, it really did. Life itself is never easy. You have to go through some stuff to make it through. And this is what they're trying to do in this film. They're trying to express that these characters' lives have something going on. And they have to go through it some sort of fashion and some sort of way, which is fine, I guess. Because, I know I've said this before in other videos, but if there's no conflict, then there's no drama. If there's no drama, then there's no story. And if there's no story, and then there's no reason for me to care. And there's some sort of sense of drama throughout the entire movie. And it never felt forced, it never felt contrived. So the flow of the overall movie does feel like I'll put it, put it even, nothing else come off unbalanced. And even the pacing itself. Is really well executed as well. So again, there's not much I can complain. Really, there's not much I can complain. So 
I enjoyed it, obviously. The voice acting. The voice acting is actually quite good here. I can tell that everyone, the voice actors and actresses, were really trying to do their best, trying to convey their characters in this film. And they actually did. It makes it seem like these characters were really likable and really charming in their own way. So, in that regard, in that department, they've done a pretty fantastic job as a whole. Let me see here. Ah, by the looks of it, I still have a few more anime films to review on my to-do list, which I will get to as soon as I can, folks. I'll get to it as soon as I can, obviously. And I will review more anime. I will watch more anime. And once I do, whenever I watch more, folks, I'll get my pen, I'll write it down my to-do list so that I can, you know, review it later. And I promise I would do that, folks. All right, put this to a side, I guess. Anyway, if you have not checked this film out yet, I'll say check it out. I knew, I know that Disney had, you know, brought this film to to America, what a lot of people can say. But I highly suggest watching the Japanese version, of course. That's that's by no means taking stabs at Disney. I'm not. Trying to take stabs at Disney by any means. I like the company. The Walt, the, the Walt Disney Studio had made fantastic movies on their own. But, like I said way earlier in the movie, I'm a purist, so if something's intended to be a sort of way, leave it alone. And yes, there were some changes they did make in the, um, in the Disney American version, I guess. I mean, they didn't edit nothing out, really. But it was more in, in regards of sound and dialogue that was that made a big difference, really. Because, yeah, that's the thing. It may seem trivial, but that was the main thing that was changed, really, if anything. It was the dialogue and the music. Which, is, the American version did not feel quite as, you know, light, um, natural. But the Japanese version did. So, I don't want to give it too much into detail because I don't want to spoil anything really, but I have to say, check out the Japanese version instead, folks. If you can get your hands on it, anyway. If you can get all get the, the, the American version that was released by Disney, I guess that's fine. The Disney American version is a good movie, too, but I just prefer the, um, the original version, that's all. So, anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating. Of a 7.5 out of 10. It's a 7.5 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah.